How goes it, everybody? I'm Kujo, and welcome back for another new series. <laughs> Super close up in my face there. We are back, everybody. I know it's been a little bit. Uh, we've been having stuff going on, so we've been doing stuff. Um, we are in a new-ish, new, well, brand new, brand new mod package. It's still kind of beta-ish, I guess. Um, it is called Seopolis. So we're in Seopolis. Um, there are things around us that I do not know what they are. Oh, and we got a major hiccup already. Oh, there. And we're back. Uh, there's some kind of structure over here. I don't know what that is. It hasn't yet rendered it really on the map, so we haven't gone over there. Um, we are in the ocean. Um, so this is a quest-based mod pack that we are doing here. Um, we do have vein miner, so that's super cool. Or ultimine, I guess it's called now. FTB ultimine is in this. Oh, and it gives you all the frames. Okay. And there's creepy creatures outside making all the things. All the sounds. All right, do we have the twerk? We got the twerking going on. Oh, and we got a freaking major big tree going. Um, so there's, looks like there's tinkers in here. I got a slime island right above my head. This, I think this is kind of a fortunate spawn. I, I saw somebody playing this, and they had, like, absolutely nothing in the world around them. Um, but we got, like, things down here. Don't know what they are. All kinds of stuff. There's a freaking, we're right above a guardian temple. Um, and you can't, like, type in the seed or anything like that in this mod pack. Um... When you do it, it just kind of, it doesn't even give you the option when you can generate a world. So, um, that's pretty cool. We got all kinds of stuff around us. Um, if we can pop down here, we can see some stuff. Look at, there's like little deals. The ground looks super flat. I don't know if that's just not rendered or that looks like maybe a crashed ship. Um, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a monster mob guy. Um, we're going to hop back up so we can breathe. All right. So we're going to hop into this. this. Uh, like I said, it's a quest. Uh, I can't jump. I can't jump. All right, it's a quest-based mod pack, so let's take down another tree. Well, I might as well get the stuff, you know? And it's kind of like, I mean, I don't I want to say it's kind of like Rustic Waters, because I think Rustic Waters was centered around a lot different mods than this, but uh, it's similar to Rustic Waters as it's a C-block pack. So I want to go in, and I'm going to set my uh, keybind for my quest book, so I can get it up easy. I can always put it on Enter. So I know where it is. If I want to look at my quest book, I don't have to worry about anything. I know you can do it in your inventory, but I'm not going to. All right. Now we hit enter. We can bring it up. Okay. So as you can see, there are a lot of quests in this. There's uh, there's welcome to the sea. There's just, just informational one. I'll probably read this off camera. I'll, I'll click on each one real quick for you guys. You can pause and read it if you want. I'm not going to read to you. I'm not, I'm not a kindergarten teacher. Um, starting up, uh, all this stuff, moving on up, uh, farming and foods, all the farming, advancing exploration, serious advancements, thermal expansion, advanced machinery, refined storage is way down here, it's kind of scary that it's going to take us that long. I usually like to get to the storage system super fast, um, but we're, let's see, let's see, I'm going to read through the informational stuff, I'll be here, All right, so I got those uh, completed. I read through them. I, I not, couldn't have put them on camera because they were super basic. It was like Ultimine and stuff. The only thing it does is it told us about a uh, quest box or, or whatever it's called. Um, what are they called? C-Box. You get these C-Box for doing quests and stuff, and you can use them in a store. I'm sure that's in here somewhere. Shop right here. Useful items. So we can buy things uh, with our C-Box. And use those. The other uh, kind of useful thing was that there is there is air up above us. But the air, we only have two blocks. So basically we can stand out there. But if we jump up in the air, we're going to get poisoned. And we're going to take damage. So that was the only other thing in there. So while I plant this other tree, let's open up our, nurse, our quest book again. I cannot speak today. And let's hop back up to starting up. So we got some of these done in starting up. We got an apple. We're going to get a sea buck for that, right? I don't know where it shows us how many sea bucks we have. We got a sapling we'll get a sea buck for. Oak logs we got a sea buck for. And now we can get some driftwood. Create when logs are dropped into water. Okay. So we can create driftwood in the water. So I think we kind of want to build up a little bit of a ladder-ish place, right? But I don't want to block. How are we going to do this without blocking our tree growth? Is it, what kind of ladders we got? We don't even have crafting station yet. Is there like a rope ladder? No. I guess we're just going to make an oak ladder and we're going to have to take it. 
Hmm. Maybe we'll do this. Maybe we'll make some stairs over here to get to a, a platform. <laughs> that's not going to work because that's still going to block the tree's growth. Huh. I wonder if we can just... I don't want to break this because we don't have the ability to make more glass. So I don't really want to break this stuff unless it's different. Yeah, it's just Minecraft glass. So we're not going to be able to do that. Let's start out making a crafting bench. And can we do anything with that? No. That, apparently that's not a thing the way we do it. So we need to throw some stuff into... The, oh, we can throw stuff into the water down here. Can't we? So if we just cue this into the water... Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Okay. Go. Okay. Go up. Go back up. It started. It started sinking. I can't get in the hole. Can't get in the hole. There we go. We didn't get that one. This is cool. Just sit in the water and do it. All right, we got some driftwood. This, is this a, oh, that is a glass trap door. That's super cool. All right, so we're back up here again. Let's go back into our quest book. We're, a lot of this is, this mod pack, I think, is going to be us just collecting quests and working towards getting quests. So we need some planks. That's super easy to do. We'll just pop in there, do that. That should get us our planks. We are good. All right, crafting table. We already did. We got that. Um, we need driftwood planks. We can do that also. Don't know what these things are used for differently than the other stuff. But uh, let's get our quest. We're getting all this basic stuff out of the way. Um, a chest. So let's figure out where we want to do this. I think I want to place uh, that down right there. Just to kind of keep it out of the way a bit. And let's just make a double chest, right? Make a double chest. I think I want to do our storage down beneath also. Maybe just around right here. In this area where we can put some stuff. So we got our chest done. We can hop up on here. Why is auto jump on? How has that, that, that not been changed in Minecraft to not default as being on? I want to see what kind of foods we got. We can eat an apple, right? If we go to uses, we can smelt an apple so there are cooked apples. That's amazing. We have to figure out how to get a uh, furnace before we can do that. So we made a chest. We can collect that deal. Some wooden shears. Okay, so if we just do two planks, we should be able to get that. So come in here, a uh, plank and a plank, and we got the shears, and we are good to go. A bowl. A bowl can be used to make bowls of water. Okay, so we need to get... I know I know the bowl recipe. We're not friggin' super basic. We got four bowls. So bowls of water, what does that mean? Does it tell us what... Okay, bowls of water. Drinking water will give you br water breathing for 25 seconds. I wish that was real. So... Fluid item transfer. So we just put the bowl in water. Is that is that how that works? Come down to our water hole here. No, please, no. It wanted to go away. Get in the hole. Alright, we got four bowls of water now. Let's see what happens when we drink one of these. Does it give me any food? No. So we can't, like, eat it. But we did get an effect while they're breeding. That's super amazing. We're good there. Alright, so that should be another quest completed. Another freaking space buck. A wooden crook. Crook can be used on leaves to increase the chances of an apples uh, from all the leaves and to get silkworms. So let's make a crook. I'm guessing what a crook is is going to be just like so. Nope, not like that. Like this. Yes. So now we can take our crook and we can harvest these leaves and we get a higher chance of apples and silkworms. We can harvest our tree and plant a new one. Next quest is a silkworm. We already got that because we got it from our deal and we need string. So we're going to have to infest, infest this tree with our silkworm to get it going. One thing I really hope we get to soon is how we get friggin' uh, cobble. I don't know if the shift right click thing is in this or not. So let's take our silkworm. We only got three. We're going to infest this tree and wait for it to go. I wonder if it's fast spreading. Kind of like all the mod six. Sky was kind of like a fast spreading 
infestation, but it's really not in this. So we're gonna I'm gonna take a quick break here. We're gonna wait for it to infest up and it will be our bee. Alright, that didn't take as long as I thought. Once it got going, it took off pretty fast. Um, so let's harvest this up, get our string. We got some more silkworms back. Get another tree planted because we need all the materials we can get. So as I was looking to get cobblestone, you can't actually get cobblestone. You get what just hurt me. Oh, the tree glue grew into me. You can't actually get cobble straight up. You have to get pebbles from sieving. I believe dirt, I think it was. And then you put those pebbles together to get stone. So if you want cobblestone, you're going to have to break that. Let's collect our reward for our string. And of course, it's going to be wool and a bed. So we can get those done. Can we make three? Yes, we can. One, two, three. And drop this down here. And we're going to have a stupid, plain, boring white bed. And I think the bed I want to put down here for now, right? Let's just sleep right next to our water. We can't sleep right now. It's not nighttime. But we got both of those achievements done. We got the wool. We got the bed. And we need to get a fishing rod, which is also super easy. One, two, and a one, two, three. Nope, and a... There we go. It helps if you put them in the right order. Really does. All right, so we got our fishing rod. I don't know how we're going to fish or what we're fishing for, but let's go back into our quest, claim that. We are almost done with this. So we need to get some leaves. Leaves can be used... Get... Get... Getting... That's not a word. With shears, we had crappy wooden shears, and we're going to have to make some more because that's all we have, and they have no durability ties. All right, super cool. We are done with another quest. Let's get that. I'm trying to go through these starter ones pretty quick. Vines. Use some crafting recipes. Used in some crafting recipes. How do we get vines? We Oh, we can make vines with three leaves. That's super neat because these ones are pretty basic. I don't know what we're going to use vines for, but we got it. And so that completed our entire starting up. So we need to get into the wooden tech stuff now. So a wooden hopper we need to get to. What other quests do we have completed? It says we have completed rewards. So if you have rewards available, and if you click here, click to collect each. So we collected all those. Oh, was it just our C bucks? All right, now that that's done, we can get into our thing. We need another chest, so we're going to need some more of these. And then, boop, boop, make a wooden hopper. The wooden hopper is going to allow us to pump stuff in to do other automation-y type stuff. So, wood tech, we got that done. Wooden hopper. Another sea buck. So, wooden barrels can be used to make dirt by placing organic materials into it. We know that. We are super smart. So, let's make some barrels. I, let's just make all of this. Because we're going to need it. We need some of those. We're just going to make one barrel at a time because we don't have, like, unlimited deal stuff. Materials. Tree is going down. And so, I think some of my machines, I kind of want them within reach up here. So, I'm going to place, like, this one over here. I don't want... Each corner, I have to have a block available to get up to, though. So, we can probably take... What do we have a lot of? We have a lot of oak leaves, right? So, we can take these. It'll make some dirt. Now, we can also harvest this dirt if we really want it, but I kind of want to get this into a 3x3 three three area. Oh, that's super hard. We can probably make a wooden pickaxe also to help us along this venture here. All right, and we can probably get these. I want to get 3x3 three three dirt grown uh, just so we can kind of maximize our tree growth and our harvesting. So I'm going to do this, and I'll bring you guys back in. All right, so I think I did a, I did a little... I didn't think. I know I did a little bit of grinding. So I got our setup up here. Um, we move, let's push this so I don't fall down in the water. We put a hopper up on top and underneath so we get a bunch of dirt. We got 53 dirt right now, okay? 53 dirt. We're going to take this and let's look in our quest book at what we got to do. So we got our wooden barrel, right? We got our dirt. Um, a flopper. A flopper. Place a flopper into the sea in a barrel underneath it and it will fill the barrel with water. Okay. So we need to make a flopper, which is three hoppers and a barrel. Let's come down here to where our... I moved our, our chest down here, our stuff and all the good stuff down here, right? All right. I made a bunch of these. I made all kinds of stuff. So we need three hoppers, right? 
So we need three of them. We just steal some of these blocks back to be able to pop them in there and make three. And then if we go like this, we should be able to throw a slab in there and make a barrel. Then we can make our flopper. It was like this, right? Yeah, we made a flopper. Look at that. We get a sea buck. So if we take a nut, we need to make another barrel, don't we? I don't know what the use for this is going to be for. But we're going to try it out, right? Because it wants us to. So if we take this and place this right there with a barrel. Does this barrel now have water in it? Does it have to be like away from things? We got to breathe. We got to breathe. Okay. Gosh, we're taking damage. So we haven't got any cobble or anything yet to make some, some better food with our cooked apples. Um, I don't think that's the way that's supposed to be. Can we make a quick axe? Just to speed up the process here a little bit. Oh, this is going to take forever. Seriously going to take forever. Oh, that wanted a pickaxe. Oh, well. He gets what he gets. Where? Oh, don't steal our barrels. Don't steal our barrels. And our flopper. All right, we'll get that figured out here. I'm going to move on in the quest book and get some more things going because I want to get into some Stone Age type stuff. Um, we need a, a sieve first. A sieve. Let's check our recipe. I think we might have everything we need already. Oh, no. The, the recipe has changed. It's three more friggin' hoppers. So we need all kinds of hoppers. Can we just do this? Is this a recipe in this mod pack? Yes, it is. Let's just make a ton of chests. All right. So then we can just click on here. And then we'll just collect up a bunch of these. And we'll just do six for now. It seems like we're going to use hoppers for a lot of stuff. All right. There we go. We got a sieve. That should be a thing. We should be able to do a like this. No, the, the mesh is different even. We need a string mesh for the next one. This guy right here. Oh, we need vines. Which means we need... We used all of our stuff. Time to go up to the tree. We need the leaves from the tree to make the vines. That's something different. That's one thing I like about this mod pack. The with the mod dev, I forget what his name is. I'll have to look it up. Um, he has gone through and made a lot of custom recipes and stuff. So that's pretty neat. I like it. Let's run. Running seems to work better for this. We're just going to collect up all the leaves we can collect with these shears. Seems like as soon as you run, like by the first time you turn a corner, then you're like, the tree's grown. I'm going to put a little bit in that, just, just so we have some there. And then let's make some of vines. We'll do that. That should be enough vines. The rest of these we can throw in here and it can start making some stuff. I'll uh, keep the other ones in our pockets. So we need to make the mesh. So we have a string mesh. Sieve mesh we need all the saplings so we've gotten that so how do we get this um we don't, we're not gonna be able to do that do these does is the jei broken this jei might be broken for that because i bet you if we put this down and put this in it and then sieve the dirt i bet you we might get some seeds for oak oh, because it's not we get a seed for it that's right jay is not jei is not broke watch this speed speed sieve oh it doesn't do it doesn't do it like in all the mod 6. We can't do the speed sieve. But we can do this hands free. My hands are up in the air right now. Resting behind my head as it sieves for us. So another thing that's changed in this pack. That I kind of want to get to right now. Is we can place these in a, a 9x9. Sometimes you can do like a 5x5. Five five. I don't know if we have space for the 9x9. Nine nine, but I think we're going to try. So that would mean that we would need. 9x9. Nine 3x3. Nine. Three three. We, we, need, we would need 9 total so we need more hoppers again what are we short on just planks inventory is looking a little atrocious just ignore it so we need three per hopper that's two we need eight more hoppers three times eight is 32 we can make 19 <laughs> we're out of, no we're out of wood we're out of wood again we got wood we have wood there we go we got our wood threw some on the ground Seven. We need one more. What are we short on? Two more of these guys. There we go. Like I said, our inventory is atrocious. So I want to take this. We're going to bring it up top. We're going to... Oh, we need meshes. We need eight more meshes. 
I'm gonna make those as we go because they don't not do not stack, not donut stack. Donut stacks are delicious, right? Who wouldn't want a donut stack? This is gonna be our little sieving corner right here. We're just gonna put these on as we go. We're gonna have to get all of them upgraded eventually. That's what we have right now. What are we short on? Are we short on the vines, I think? Which means we can probably make up some more because we have... No, we can't. We need to make more shears. Where did we get a fish from? We got a... Was that a reward from something? Let's put our sea bucks in here. We're going to want to sieve these, so we want those in our inventory. We'll figure out our flopper later. All right, I'm going to get some leaves. BRB. All right, so we're back. I still got some more dirt. Coming in here, I got my other, the rest of the meshes made for a sieve over here. We got our nine, not nine, nine thing deal. Um, uh, three by three. Oh, and that grew. Perfect timing. Okay, so let's jump back into our quest book here. Let's see what we can do. I want to do this one, but before we do that, let's uh, make some andesite, granite, and uh, diorite here. And we will get a reward for that because we can probably just go like that. Yeah, right? We'll make everything. We'll make some stone. We're getting all the stuff, the diorites. So I've just been, I was on hold with a, a company that I had to call for a while. And so I was, while I was on hold of them, I was just kind of putting up trees and chopping them down and grinding and, and did some dirt sieving out of our stuff um, to get all that done. So that should have got our quest for there and our stone quest. So we're getting all the seed bucks, the stone hammer. I think I want to do this first. Let's get all the different saplings. On. I want to do something real quick. Music was super loud in my ears, so we turned it down some. I won't have to turn it down so much after in the editing process, so. All right, let's get these all in line. That would be great, so I can just wheel through them. All right, we're going to sieve these and get all of our tree types. We'll have to plant them to get the saplings, but we'll get the seeds here. All right, we went through two stacks, and that looks like it gave us enough for each. Let's put them down on our hot bar. We can hop in here. Hit the right button multiple times. Chop down our tree. And each one, when, as soon as we place this down, it's going to turn into a sapling. That's a dark oak. So we probably want four of those just because, right? Because we can't grow one without it. Our acacia. Our spruce. We'll get four of these too because, <laughs> you know, why not? Um, One more. Our birch. Our jungle. And our oak, we have all the things. We already had the oak, but whatever. All right, so let's put all of these away. Let's uh, grow a spruce, because we love spruce trees. Let's grow one. Grow a spruce, spruce tree. I don't know if it's tall enough in here to grow. We might have to get a bigger bigger growing hole. All right, we need to get some more chests going. I'm going to grab a stack of wood. We need to make kind of a little bit more of a storage area. Probably against over here, we'll do it. Oh, we have seeds just out out the wazoo over here. All right. So here, let's just put all of our, like, organic materials. All of our wood stuff we're going to put in this guy. Let's do a little food chest down here. Let's grab another chest out of here. It'll be a little food chest. These can be food also if you cook them, so I'm going to put them in there with that. Then we need, like, a stone chest. Put all of our stone things in there. Can we shift K on this to compress it? Yes, we can. There we go. What is that? Where did we get basalt from? How do we manage? Where do we get the basalt things from? So this is only going to be for catching that stuff. All right. So up next, I think we need a stone hammer, right? So let's grab some sticks. Let's grab some stone. I'm guessing that's what we need for a stone hammer. And I already feel like we need to get more space in here. Yep. That'll do it. Stone hammer. That should get us our achievement. And we need to make the crush types of stone. So let me grab those. All right. So I did something. <laughs> we did a little bit of off camera on accident. I, I thought I hit the record button, but we didn't hit it. Uh, apparently. So we crushed all these down with our hammer. We uh, crushed some stone down to get some cobblestone, which gave us enough to make this furnace. The furnace is a three compressed cobblestone, which is just a completely full thing. And then some on top to make the furnace. We're in the process of making some cooked apples because they are super delicious and nutritious. And then what else do we do? We're going to maybe make this factory right now real quick. Uh, we got our cardboard box. Cardboard box. Uh, let's grab a sapling so I can kind of show you how to do that. If you've never done it before, 
Let's just grab an oak sapling. And all of these crushed uh, deals, you can sieve in there to get different types of stuff. So let's, there we go. So now that this is grown, we can just take our hammer. We can vein mine this and it's going to give us uh, the wood chippings that we need to make uh, the cardboard box. And I believe we can also make paper with it. Yes, you can make paper with it also. So that's super handy to have that. Um, it looks like there are some different furnaces, but we're definitely not up to that level yet. All right, so this factory, I don't know. Also, I uh, I think I must have, I pinned that on accident. There we go. I was wondering why it was on the side there, but I got a pin. Uh, we want to make this factory, right? This guy, the factory. We need three crafting tables and two hoppers. Do we have any more hoppers left over? No, we do not. We have two chests. We got some planks. And that should be everything we need. So we need three crafting tables. One, two, three. Let's change a uh, dice around. We need two hoppers. And then we should... Uh, I don't... I think we need one more cobble, of course. One more cobble. Let's break this. Break of that. And that should be enough cobble for our factory. Oh, they have to be crafting stations. How do you make a crafting station? Oh, okay. Crafting stations in this is going to be a pattern, which is, that looks like the standard recipe for patterns, and a log. So we need, oh, we have logs. There we go. We need three of these. So that was like perfect amount for that. And grab our factory. And there, achievement has been gotten. More space bucks. So I think that's going to be all the time we have for today for episode one. That's not how you say one. I can't jump. Um, we got our sieves going. We got this expand a little bit to plant some more trees and everything. We got all kinds of space bucks. Let's see how many space bucks we got. Maybe there's something in the store we can do. 47 space bucks. Let's see what we can do in the store for this. Useful items. Um, we could get a rotten egg. That's 30. We don't have a mob farm yet, so that's not too handy. Angel block. Uh, it's not super necessary for us. Morphing tool. Oh, is morphing? Is that for morph? What mod is this from? You can't make it, though, so that's good. So all these things, it looks like there's no recipes for. Oh, it just doesn't bring up the recipes. Um, building expansion. That sounds super neat. This allows you to copy and paste your own structures or others. Join the Discord share to the designs. Okay. That might be cool. Paste container allows you to construct construction of custom buildings using construction paste, not blocks. I don't know what that is. I'll have to look into that. It allows you to exchange blocks. We don't need to worry about that. I think we might go with this. Let's buy this. Click to submit. Submit. We got the... I don't even know what we got. We got a template manager, a charging station, a template manager, and the craft me. <laughs> this is the copy-paste gadget. Why is it saying, why is it called craft me? That seems weird. Uh, so we can use that to kind of copy our, our shell of our building. So we can kind of keep it uniform and have these little pods. Maybe expand them out. Is the builder in this? The builder is in this. So maybe once we get up to this level, which doesn't seem that far away. That seems super easy. We need to get into iron. Oh, and then we have to get into super, super stupid dissolution chamber stuff I hate. I hate the dissolution chamber. I am not a fan. It is super stupid. So, but that's going to take a little bit. Uh, but I think that's all the time we got for today. I think when we come back next time, we're going to get a new section built on our base. I don't know what the material is going to be out of because we don't have much to use except for wood. So it's probably going to be wood. Maybe we'll even get over to explore some of this stuff that we got all around us. These little pods and everything. Super awesome spawn area we got here. But on that note, it's going to be all. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I know it's been a while since the last videos come out. I'm going to try to get them. I know it's a lot. I'm going to try to get them out more often. Uh, with life, as life lets me, I will be getting videos out. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.